Thoughts and Teens in Focus. I'm your host Patricia Trim and today I have my special guest and she is no other than Tamika James, our May Queen 2012. She was sprung on last Saturday. She was sprung on Saturday, July, um, May 19th at the Bethel Deliverance Gospel outdoor venue. We had our little crowning of the Queen and we must thank everyone that attended. It wasn't much but we have to do what we have to do. So we have our queen here, Tamika, and Tamika will not only be a queen to wear the crown, but she will be a role model. She already had her first experience of um, interviewing Christopher Banks, um, who is running for the city um, assemblies in the 68th district. So she had already forced her first experience in that. And many more to come. She will be interviewing State Center John Sampson in a little um, couple of weeks from now. So as we welcome Tamika and she will tell us, she is a very good talker. I think she can talk more than me. And she will be able to explain much more and tell you about herself. She will tell us a little bit more about herself, how she enjoyed being um, crowned as Miss um, Tots and Teens May Queen. And let me tell you a little story about Tamika. When Tamika was a little child coming to the program, you could not get Tamika to do anything. Tamika refused to do anything. And Tamika now is the May Queen. And she was so happy. Changes are happening. So I'm so proud of her. And when I saw her, I'm screaming because I know her as a little girl. And she's all grown up. As I said, tots and teens, they all grown up. So Tamika, we welcome you once again to Thoughts and Teens and you will give us a little bit idea about your name and tell us more about you and then you will talk also about your experience in being the May Queen 2012. Well, thank you for having me here. I'm very happy and I'm excited that I actually feel like I belong because usually I'm not doing anything much but school and now I feel like I have something to do and I'm not bored. and. It's, a happy experience. So Tamika, I know you can give us something about your your school, um, you know, the school that you go to and what form you're what grade. Here, a little bit more about yourself going to school. I go to a Catholic school, Our Lady of Trust. It's two campuses, but I go to Trust and there's Miracles or St. Jude, whatever they like to call it. I'm in eighth grade in September. I'll be going to ninth grade. I'm going to Bishop Blocker High School. That's a different Catholic school. At my school, I think their motto is charity, faith, hope, and trust. So I think they stand for that, and I'm happy to go there. Mm. I'm happy that you are at a Catholic school because that is the school I grew, grew up in. I, I know nothing else but only Catholic. I went to Catholic school, Catholic church, and everything Catholic. And I think the foundation that they have given me, um, I'm able to motivate, motivate myself with it. They, um, they teach me how to be a lady and how to work within the community and to meet and greet people. So you're at a good school. Now tell us something about your experience being the May Queen and you know the joy and the jollification that you felt being crowned as May Queen 2012. 
Well, being crowned as May Queen, I got to meet a lot of people, and now that I am May Queen, I get to interview people that I don't know, and I'm happy that I get to know more people, because now I feel like I can go around in Brooklyn and know who I'm talking to or where I'm at. That is so good. That is why we have taught St. Denis program, and when we crown um, our youth, our role model as May Queen, we want them to meet people, talk with them. Um, it's an open con it's an open forum that they can meet and talk and greet people and it's something that it's a it's it's like a profession and not only meeting and talking but also you'll have to do a lot of television program um, as a past thoughts and teens member give us some of your experience of being a past thoughts and teens member <laughs> um, well I remember that miss trim always used to bring me places and at first I'd be happy to go there, and when I get there I'd see a whole bunch of people I don't know, and there'd be a whole bunch of kids trying to touch me. And when I was little, I wasn't really a fan of being touched, because I always thought kids were dirty and they'd stick their fingers in their nose. So I never really wanted to do anything or touch anything, so I was always in the corner to myself, and I always refused to do something, because I felt like when I did it, it wouldn't turn out right, or something would always have to go wrong. <laughs> I never knew that, but she was always good and always um, wanted to, but thank God that she has gotten out of that stage and now she's into an open stage and she's willing to participate and to be involved and not only to be involved um, in, her, in her own community, but to have other exposure that will be beneficial for her as a May Queen for 2012 and then at the end of your term, you were able to crown another queen as May Queen as your experience. And you know, some parents give you some good advice. So let's hear what you have learned from those advice. Well, my parents have told me that um, I should be a, f a leader, not a follower. And that I was, I was born to stand out. I wasn't born to fit in. And I should always be myself at all costs, and no matter what the case is. And to do what I what I want to do, like if I, if there's something I want to do and it's a possibility that it can't be done, do everything you can to get it done. Mm -hmm. That's Tamika May Queen 2012, who has given us our all. Surprising, surprising, and I'm going to tell you something. You are doing so fine. You are doing so fine that you could really speak out. I know there were some other May Queens and uh, May Queens and the we call them Mother Queen who gave. Um, give you some advice how how do you feel about those advice well my mom is there for everything everything I do she's always there so it's like I get her advice on everything uh, she tell me what to wear how to wear it. if I want to wear something I can't wear it because it won't look right so she'll pick out my clothes and I'll look at it and then I'm like oh, oh okay all right <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoy her advice it helps me out a lot so I think that teens everywhere should take their mother's advice because sometimes your mom would tell you like you'd want to go to a party and then she'd say no and you'll be upset with her and then next thing you know your friends tell you what happened at that party and then you end up happy that you didn't go <laughs> yes take that advice and to make a listen to your parents and be a role model within the community because if she can say her mother picks out her clothes and she is approved of it that is a child who is listening to her peer, and this is a true role model, because a true mo role model listens to peers' advice, listens to community advice, and keep a role modelship level wherever they go. Now, Tamika, let's talk about your advice. How would you advise young people to become role models in the community? I would advise young, young teens or kids to become role models by doing what they want. Like if you see an old person and you want to help them and you see another block of kids and you're like, if I go help them, I'll look stupid. Don't don't worry about them because you might never see them again. So help that old person and what goes around comes around. And I think, you know, when you're old, you'll have a kid helping you. Or if you want to grow flowers and you see other kids playing with an Xbox and you're like, I oh, look stupid growing flowers. Grow your flowers. This, you know, their Xbox stops working and your flowers are still growing. Yeah, that's so cute of you to, to, to really give that advice. 
I never thought of it that way. You know, you're never too old to learn. So I'm learning. I'm learning from my May Queen that you know, grow your flowers because the Xbox will stop working, but they still have the beautiful flowers around. And because of that, that beautiful flower is shining within you. If it wasn't for that beautiful mother of your, that beautiful parents of your, you would have not been able to make a difference. Um, and it's your to let your and let, let your light shine that others may be able to see um, that you have grown and you have grown really well. And I do hope that, Tamika, that you will be able to take this as an opportunity that you will be able to take and you will be able to um, be more productive and to be able to share it more with other young people. Now, before we go, your word of advice to our young people out there? Um, be yourself. Like, I'm in love with mindless behavior, and I love their motto, be confident in yourself and whatever you want to do. So if you see your friends in a certain outfit and you like it, go ahead and wear it. But wear it in your own sense of style. Don't try to fit in because it doesn't work well. Trust me, it doesn't. <laughs> so just be yourself in whatever you do and be confident in yourself. And Take a good look in your mirror and remember that's how you're going to look forever. And just be confident in yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Tomiko, for those interesting words. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being the May Queen 2012. And thank you very much, um, the Crowning of the Queen. And from Thoughts and Teens, we say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for having me. Very nice. As she's from May Queen 2012, would you put your hands together for the May Queen and to me on you, May Queen 2012, and she's from by Shinesa Graham. As she turned her hands together and welcome our 2012 May Queen, Tamika James, as she take her walk down the walk, as she walk with pride, she's now become a role model and she will represent us and teens in all our youth mothers and um, youth role mothership, Tamika James, as we put her together and she raise her hands and we ask her to come forward and give her a speech of appreciation and thank you girls. I am Tamika James. I am a member of the Tots and Teens program. I am proud to be nominated as a role model for Tots and Teens 2012 May Queen. I promise to be a role model and perform my duty as the youth ambassador for Tots and Teens and Focus. I must express my appreciation to the CEO and founder of Tots and Teens, Patricia Schwimm, and to my parents, Oz and Bob, and Lennox James. And to all you folks here who have taken your time to come and witness the ceremony of me being crowned on this Tatsing Teens May Queen 2012. Thank you everyone and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. The mother of Tamika James, the May Queen of Tatsing Teens 2012 and I'm going to make sure she do her best as the May Queen to serve the community. Very good afternoon to each and every one of you, especially the Queen of the evening, the May Queen, Tots and Teens 2012. Congratulations on your achievement. Mom, I recognize that you're a proud mom today because of your stewardship. You brought your daughter along and there's so much more to do as she has been selected as a role model to the other parts and teens. We at Bethel Deliverance, we are glad to be a part of whatever is going on in the community that will benefit our children and the community as a whole. Today, Pastor and Apostle Ali Israel is not here. I'm the Associate Pastor, and I'm pleased to say that come next year, the facility will be available and... Good evening, everyone. Um, I must say congratulations to Tamika. 
Um, I know that you have taken on a role, and I can tell that you will indeed excel in this role. Uh, my daughter, Lunella Jones, was 2009 May Queen. I'm sorry she was, you know, she couldn't be here today, but um, she sent her blessings and her wishes for you. And I know that you will, you know, do all that you have to do to be the ambassador for Tots and Teens. And once again, all the best and good luck. Thank you. Congratulations, you're very beautiful. And I want your life to be enhanced from this program. Take it as a stepping stone to the future, whereas a couple of years from now, you'll be crowning another beautiful little girl. And, you know, Miss Trim is somebody with a very big heart. She doesn't care what the weather is, what the time is, but she makes certain that whatever it is that she has to get done is done. She doesn't care if it's four, five, ten, or twenty people. But the good thing is, always try to give her their support. And as you grow, as my daughter grew, she was in the tops and teens from a very little girl. And it teaches you so much. It exposes you to the TV. You know, they used to have, they used to interview people. I remember the Comptroller, New York, all these people. So, you know, it enhances your life. And grab it and run with it. And share it among your, your friends in the community. And I wish you all the best in your life. Good luck. Ms. Trim, Trim, I'm Shirley Brown Foster. Tamika, I really want to congratulate you. It's the first time that you, you are a very outstanding young lady. You have a very uh, a wonderful personality. And I have to tell you, I'm glad you brought not only your mother, but backup. Because you're going to need backup for Ms. Trim. Because she's going to have you going. This morning when she called me, I said, Ms. Trim, I really don't feel good. She said, that's okay, come anyway. So I get in the car at 12.30 on my way over here. She called me, Shirley, I need you to pick up something for you. I said, Miss Trim, I told you don't feel good. But that's all right. Just go pick up this one thing for me. Okay. I pick up the one thing. Miss Trim, I have the patties. Oh, can you go by someplace and pick up something else for me? Miss Trim, I don't feel good. Go, just go pick up this for me. So I went to this lady's house and I pick up something else. By the time she finished with me, I felt so good. <laughs> Every, everything was gone. <laughs> and here I am today. It's a joy to work with her. As I have to echo what other parents said, whether it's one person or 20 people, the show continues to go on. And she has taught me something. No matter what, if you say you're going to do something, do it. Get it done. And she's a person who really believes in having children do something and accomplish something. And she teaches children one thing. If you say you're going to do something, do it. No matter what, get it done. So she will teach you that. And she's a wonderful person to be associated with. And you will meet some interesting people. Malachi, at age six, I believe, was able to interview Marty Markowitz. And it was a wonderful experience. And no one asked you to come over. But thank you anyway. Please don't miss another It's not a funny night again. And I hope your rainy time will be wonderful. Enjoy yourself. We have known to make it for quite a while. My mom, and, um, my mom goes way, 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 way back. And um, knowing to make it, she's a very respectful person, very loving. So I am quite happy that you are being crowned Miss Me Fair, May Queen. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I've known Mrs. Strim for quite a while. What a nice lady. I've known Tamika for quite a long time. I should know better than her bad mother. Her mom is my sister-in-law, so we're all family. This is a happy occasion. I'm so happy for Tamika being the reigning May Queen. I know she will do good, so you can count on that. Tamika, congratulations. I'm ahead. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, I've known Miss Trim for some time now, a very long time, actually. And I was a uh, formerly Miss Reisler's Miss President's Miss East Coast um, back in Diana. So the new pool and the uh, whole teens and tots, it's not a, um, it's not a new experience to me. Um, what Miss Trim is doing is a very, very good thing she's doing for the children of the community. And I wish you well. Being a new queen, it's a very challenging job. Um, your peers and your friends are going to be looking up to you, so please set a good example to them. And um, your education comes first and foremost. Um, I'm a 
is a nursing student at Long Island University. So his wife is going to stream coming and tell me that she has, you know, stopped going out with teens and sad for me to come to show my support. I'm sorry that I came here, but better late than never. So all the best and the stream, keep up the good work. I wish you all this well in everything that you do and you're a great person. Thank you. I would like to say to the Mary Queen of 2012 that I hope you can have a great life through the years. That is probably a uh, to the Queen. The Queen has heard so much and so much um, messages. We ask her to give her final talk and thanking everyone for their support and um, the message and what the message that she got and what she will do with those messages and those advice. I would like to thank everyone who gave me their piece of advice and so far I've learned a lot about Miss Trim that I've been missing out throughout a, f a while, a few years. But Miss Trim is stops at nothing. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen that day no matter what. I've learned to put my education first. I've learned to be responsible with this job that I have now and cherish it. It won't last that long. Thank you. I will not. I will not regret having her as a queen. 2010. I am 2012. I am proud of having um, her, and I know she will perform. And also, her mother will perform too, because queen will go without the mother. The mother and the queen has got to be together. <laughs> so when we come, the queen we come, the mother too. So mother queen. <laughs> So Tamika, I put my trust in you. You know it's not only today. You have television program, you have to meet with elected officials. I know you have your schoolwork, but there's a time and a task um, that we will require. We know that you can't leave your work, but at least, even if you give us one time of our television program, you become a role model. One time interview one of our guests, you are good. Because from this day forward, whatever you do in television, and when this go out, everybody will be looking at you as a role model. Everybody will be looking at you and smiling. And remember that some things go all over the world. Even in India, Africa, wherever it is, they will be seeing you. So we are on YouTube and our channel go all over the world. So I'm so happy, I'm so glad, I'm so I'm I I'm so joyous of having you and knowing a child who reject <laughs> who reject everything has turned up to be thousand things made clean. That's a sign that you have grown and there's no turning back. I know you will move forward from here. So come and give me a hug. I'll do better than your mother, right? <laughs> Thank you very much, Tabby. Um, I am happy to be here to come and see you. Unfortunately, a piece of time I used to model for the American Guy Needs Pageant, but I could still do my thing. But what I say to you, keep going, keep strong, keep positive, and just do everything that you need to do. Okay? I love you. <laughs>
and Teens in Focus. My name is Tamika James. I'm May Queen of 2012. And here we have Mr. Banks. And Mr. Banks will give us some advice on how to be a role model and some advice and some parenting advice. So welcome. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for, again for allowing me to be a part of this show today, Teens, teens and Tots. And um, it's just a pleasure coming up here. You know, just being able to impart some information and some advice uh, to our youth and seniors and what it is to be a role model and um, letting folks know that it's definitely not an easy job of being a role model, but it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a worthy position and it's something that I enjoy doing. Um, some of the advice I would give our youth um, and, 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 and the community is that one of the things I've always been a big proponent of is education. Uh, getting involved in your schooling and making sure that you, uh, you know, that you understand how important education is, and how that is basically, to me, fundamental. Um, getting your high school diploma, going on to some type of trade school or college, um, and, 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 and and so you can become a productive person in society, um, and, and and making sure that you know you're, you're selfish in a sense when you're in your high school years, when you're in your junior high school years, that everything should be about making sure that you're successful in uh, walking across that stage and getting your diploma. And for our elderly, uh, one of the, I just had lost a, a friend of mine, and a lot of people tell, tell me I have an old spirit. Uh, his name was uh, James Campbell. And he just passed away. He was 103 years old. Uh, and I met him uh, about, about eight or nine years ago <clears throat> out in Brownsville. And um, one of the things he taught me was the importance of working with seniors. Um, understanding the wisdom that they have and, 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 and the things that they can give to you only if we s stop and listen to them. So um, uh, for our elders and for our seniors, I would encourage you to, to be that source of wisdom. being here. Thank you for your advice. I'm Tamika James from Toss and Season Focus, May Clean 2012. We hope you come back and thank you for being here. Well, thank you. Say goodbye to Toss and Goodbye. Goodbye, Toss and Teens.